but the sex selection process would be when an embryo is created, then you do something called pre-implantation genetic testing. So you, and this, some of our research was involved taking biopsies like this on mouse embryos, but you do a biopsy where you, okay, this is a cool, I'll find a picture too. Oh my gosh, I'm never gonna finish this stream on time, but um, let me show you. Um, pre-implantation, Genetic, so pre-implantation genetic testing can be used to test for, let me give you an example. I have a patient who has some rare genetic disorder and they wanna make sure that they don't pass that along to a um, baby that they intend to have. So mm, I, try, I try to think of, okay, to cystic fibrosis. They wanna make sure that they don't pass that gene along to their baby. They can have the embryo genetic tested for cystic fibrosis and only transfer embryos that don't carry that gene. Does that make sense? So the way that it's done is actually really cool because you take an embryo at a fairly early stage where it only has a few cells. So it kind of looks like this. And see all these cells here inside of this embryo? So this is a Let's see, I don't wanna count them, but however many cells you see there, it's a that many cell zygote. And they use this biopsy tool to go in and take one cell out. And they can send this off and do genetic testing on it. And not only can you tell if there is a microarray like for any kind of genetic abnormalities or it might be a carrier or something or whatever, then, oh yeah, so someone's talking about fragile X. Yeah, that's another one you could test for then you can also see the X and Y chromosome makeup. So then you could transfer only XX or only XY if you were doing sex selection. Again, the um, ethics of this are a bit gray, but you know, that's not what we're here to talk about. Technology is so cool, I agree, it's very cool. Does the removal affect the development at all? That's the crazy thing here is that you can do this relatively safely and most of the time it does not affect the health of the zygote. If it does, it doesn't like, it's not like, oh, you take out a cell and now th the embryo develops and it's like has a malformation. It would be, it affects the likelihood of survival. And I don't know what the rates are, but it's a, you can do this with a someone who is skilled to do this fairly safely without killing the embryo, which I think is really, really cool. Yeah, because there's, there's stem cells. Um, 